Okay, so from continuing on from this morning session, once upon a time in the bustling world of tech, it was a lonely app that dreamt of connecting with other systems but couldn't find a match. Along came Flogia, the ultimate matchmaker with its partner program as the fairy godmother of integrations. With a wave of its wand, its wave of its API wand, it brought in applications from far and wide and built a harmonious ecosystem where data flowed and partnerships flourished. So dear partners, if you are an old flame or a new match, welcome to the magical realm of Flogia, where every integration has a happily ever after. My name is Anthony Miller and I am the Business Development Director here at Flogia. Today's session is all about our partner program where I hope to delve in and show you how we add value to both our partners and to their clients. By the end, I hope to inspire some of you to join our partner community of over 100 partners globally who resell and implement Flogia. My presentation today has been split into two parts. Um, if you missed this morning's session, we're going to start off our platform strategy where we will do a quick recap of what is the pro problem we're looking to solve, um, who is Flogia, and then I want to go into our partner program and the value propositions. Um, we'll talk about benefits to your clients, Flogia's pricing, and then our joint client acquisition strategy. The second part will flip over as to what is required to onboard you as partners. Um, we'll talk about our partner training, our sales tools, some marketing, and at the end we'll do a, a quick Q&A. Okay. So in terms of what is the problem that Flogia is looking to address, I'm sure most of you have seen that with the advent of cloud, e-commerce, and complex supply chains, many of your customers have become increasingly reliant on numerous um, applications in order to operate efficiency and, um, and grow their business. But sharing data between these, still, these systems is still one of the biggest challenges in IT. There's also been a big shift in many companies' attitude towards the use of systems and technologies away from hand-coded solutions and over to best-of-breed SaaS technologies. So to elaborate on that, historically, if a company wanted to bring technology into their business, they would commission software developers to come in and write a bespoke uh, program for them. Because everybody believed their business was completely unique and they needed something completely custom. Today, what we found is companies would rather use best-of-breed SaaS technologies. So if you were looking for an ERP system, um, you would license uh, SAP or Microsoft or Sage or Cispro. If you're looking for an ER, uh, and, uh, CRM system, Salesforce, an e-commerce platform, Shopify, and so on. Um, these companies spend millions of dollars every year on R&D to make sure that your clients are at the forefront of technology. So the only missing piece of this puzzle is how do we get all of these systems to speak to each other in real time? And really that's where, where Flogia comes in. So what is Flogia? With whom do we compete? And how do we differentiate in the market? So Flogia is simply an integration um, platform that enables your, your clients without writing any code or low code if that's their requirement to integrate with any application, service, API, or database. So whether they're trying to integrate the internal systems or perhaps upstream to their suppliers or downstream to their customers, they would accomplish this all through Flowgear's platform. <coughs> we do this through our large ecosystem of pre-built connectors. So we've got over 200 connectors in our platform covering all your mainstream CRM, ERP, e-commerce, and financial systems. Um, wherever we don't have a pre-built connector, we've got our generic connector. So as you would have seen this morning, these are very similar to our application connectors, just require one or two more steps, but effectively enable us to integrate into anything which has a, an API, whether it's a REST or SOAP API, an SDK, um, a database, or, or a desktop application. Also, um, if your clients have uh, certain systems that you'd like to build out an, a connector for, but baked into the platform was all the tooling to go ahead and build out those connectors. So the idea is once we've integrated these systems together, the next step, as you would have seen in Nick's demo earlier today, is to visually build out these workflows to pass data between these different systems to automate a process or to facilitate a transaction. 
So this gives you a, a very high level overview of um, who Flow Gear is and what we do. What I'd quickly like to do is tell you where we see Flow Gear fitting in into integration tooling and how we've managed to differentiate ourselves in the market. So we look at integration tooling effectively in three layers. So at an entry level, um, you've got what we call product citizen-based, product-based solutions. Um, these solutions really do, uh, they, they do what it says on the box, so it will pass data from one system to another system. Um, but you very quickly come up against the limitations and capabilities of those citizen integration products. In the middle level, you've got um, hand-coded solutions, and this is where you bring in software developers to come in and customize and build that integration for you. Hand coding by its nature is inherently brittle because it integrates two systems at a point in time. And when those systems update, the hand coding tends to break, um, causing disruption to your client's business, and also put in a heavy reliance on key man dependency. Now, at the top level, we've got what we call platforms. Platforms give your clients, uh, you and your clients, a blank canvas to build out the integration solution based on your client's business rules. And I think within integration, at the top level of platforms, there's a category which was created by Gartner, Daniel mentioned it earlier this morning, called IPaaS, Integration Platform as a Service. Um, according to Gartner, they recognize only about 35 IPaaS vendors globally. Flogia, uh, we're proud to say that we, we actually the only recognized South African IPaaS vendor, although we, we do operate now globally. Um, and we were actually also the first, one of the first companies to be added to uh, the category when it was created by Gartner back in 2013. Okay. Um, okay, so wh what I'd like to do now is, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm going to go back a sec. There, there's something else I wanted to mention over here. If, if you look at the IPaaS category and you look at the, the, the players involved in, in, the, in the IPaaS space, almost all of them exclusively focus on your very large US enterprise type customers. And this really is a function of price. So if you look at some of the players, um, I see the slides go, the video's gone off now, but if you look at some of the players on that list, pricing generally tends to start at around 30,000 US dollars a month and, and scales up to um, I think MuleSoft is the most expensive at around $120,000 a month. Now, where Flokia has managed to differentiate itself in this market is by being the only IPaaS company to take this enterprise technology and make it available for everyone from our South African SME clients all the way to our US enterprise clients, but at a price point that is both scalable and affordable. And I'm, I'm going to jump now quickly just to um, our pricing because, you know, we, we don't like to differentiate on price. Um, we feel that uh, the feature set that Flogia pro provides is sufficient, but we do live in a world where all of our customers are very price sensitive. Um, so I want to run you through Flogia's pricing model um, and explain to you just how this works and how you can add value to your clients. So if you look at Flogia's pricing, we're very transparent in terms of pricing. All our pricing is available on our website. But uh, what I'd like to do is quickly run you through um, the model just to, to give you some clarity on it. So Flow Gears has four subscription plans. Our entry level plan is our base plan, just under 9,000 Rand a month. And that scales up to our enterprise plan of 115,000 Rand a month. Now, this is the fixed price per month on a 12 month contract. There are no variable costs associated with Flowgear as seen with other products or platforms out there. So regardless of which platform, which subscription you take, um, you will have access to all 200 of our connectors and you can use them as often as you like. There's no price for premium connectors, there's no price per transaction, or there's no uh, price per volume of tasks that you're running through the system as, as you may have seen elsewhere. The major difference between these platforms besides some of the features is what we call active workflows. Now, hopefully most of you got to see the demo earlier, so this will uh, make life a little easier. What I want to do is explain the difference between a workflow and an active workflow. So if you saw Nick's demo earlier, he created uh, a, a workflow where he was pulling data 
from uh, Shopify, doing some ETL around it, and pushing it so across to Microsoft Dynamics. So what he built out there was what we call a workflow. Now, in any one of these plans, you can build an unlimited num number of workflows. But when Nick pushed play on that workflow, so for the few seconds or milliseconds that that workflow was running, we consider that to be active. And what Flogia meters you on is the number of active workflows that are running concurrently at exactly the same time. So, for example, if your, your client took a standard plan um, with 20 active workflows, they could build a 1,000 workflows, but only 20 of those can run concurrently at exactly the, the same time. Now, 20 may sound like a, a low number, but it actually gives you enormous amount of capacity um, for two main reasons. One is triggers. Through the use of triggers, you can control as to how and when these workflows kick off. So through that, you can control the concurrency for your clients. And two is through the use of architecture. So we have a concept in Flogia um, called sub-workflows. So let's say, for example, you had an objective and you, you went out and you built uh, for that objective, you want a standard plan, but you had 30 workflows that you built. You could actually have one top-level workflow call into 29 sub-workflows, which then run sequentially one after another. So the whole process would run for a few seconds, but still only consuming one out of the 20 active workflows. So the idea over here is to start small, start on the subscription that meets your current requirements, and then scale up as and when you need either more workflows, active workflows, or more features on the, on the platform. Um, I'm happy to take uh, take no? So, uh, so for starters, it doesn't burst um, where we land up charging you some burstable rate. Um, what would actually happen is the workflow would fail. But what you would build into your architecture is a retry mechanism. So maybe you want to retry this in uh, 30 seconds or a minute or five minutes when there are more active workflows available. Um, but to be honest, active workflows isn't something... So if you look at our, um, our dashboarding and the graphs around active workflows, it's not something that bounces up and down. I mean, you may have uh, edge cases where you know, you, you've got valleys and, uh, and, and peaks. But on the whole, you can see where your client's active workflow usage is at. And when you get to 80% of capacity, that is the point that uh, probably one of our sales execs will reach out to you and talk about possibly upgrading you to the next subs subscription plan. Um, we also create a little bit of a buffer. So, you know, if it's 20 active workflows, the system has got a, a buffer provisioned into it. So your 21st, 22nd, or maybe I shouldn't be giving you the specs over here, but, but uh, a few of them still will, will, you know, will still go through. But most people want to kind of do the retry, um, build the retry. Yeah, so I think some of the key features over there, and I mean, I don't, I don't actually have it uh, on, on this slide over here, but if you go onto our website, you'll see a whole bunch of features below with, with ticks. Um, some of the notable features, um, why people take a bigger plan, even though they require less workflows, um, one most notably being our enterprise API feature. So that's something we spoke about previously. Um, if you need a third-party system to call into Flowgear in real time or you want to take a workflow and uh, convert that into a, an API with an outbound push, that's a feature you'll need that's only available on the standard plan up. Um, there's also, you know, for, for larger clients who require a lot of corporate governance, there's a, another feature called release management which is available on our professional plan and up, and that gives companies the ability to control who has... Um, who can promote workflows between different environments, say from a UAT to test to, to production? Derek. No, no. So, so.
it's, it's unlimited. So that workflow will probably run as always on, um, and therefore it will be running, cons it will be active 24 seven. But it won't be um, it won't be a new active workflow for every client that uh, that calls it. Exactly, you can see. Der Derek is a, is an old flame. <laughs> um, any, any other questions on this be, before I move on? Yes, sir. Yes, so as a partner, we'll get to it in a moment, it's, it's actually one of the requirements for onboarding a partner is to get your, your team technically certified and, and we'll jump into the detail of why. Um, we, we also include in the subscription the ability for clients to get technically certified and, and that, funny enough, doesn't actually detract away from the revenue potential of the partner. In, in actual fact, it lets your part, uh, your clients get a better understanding of the capabilities and actually drives more business to you. Um, so yes, that, that's what the technical certification is all about. Absolutely. So the idea is that each client would take their own Flowgear subscription. Um, also, you know, uh, one of the things which I addressed this morning, which is a huge differentiator for Flowgear, is that each client is set up on its own infrastructure. So you get your own set of VMs, your own set of isolation, so that you, you're not actually storing client data on this, the same machine. Um, particularly if you're going to give your clients access to that, uh, that the, the, the VM. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm going to move on over here to, you know, now that we've done a quick recap, which uh, I'm glad to see we managed to answer quite a few questions over there. Um, I want to turn our attention to Flogia's partner program. So in building our network of over 100 partners globally, what, what, we've cons what we did was we looked for companies who inherently needed to deal with integration as part of their core business as opposed to looking for companies who just wanted to add another product or service onto their, um, onto their catalog. And what we consistently found is that the anchor tenant for most integrations is either the ERP, CRM, or e-commerce platforms. So either at the evaluation stage or shortly after acquiring these systems, companies start to look at, well, how do we integrate this internally or with suppliers or customers? And it's at that point that they start to look for integration specialists or look for their, their VARs or system implementation partners for effective solutions. And in order to solve this problem, Flogia created our partner program coupled with a, our technical certification course. So Flogia's partner program really looks at four core value propositions. The first and probably the most important for our partners is the ability to give their clients an integration solution that uses this enterprise RPAS tech, but at a price point that is both affordable and scalable. The, the second is to give our partners annuity income. So Flogia is in the business of selling subscriptions. If When our partners bring a client to Flogia who lands up taking a subscription, our partners get up to 12% of that monthly subscription revenue into perpetuity. Then thirdly is additional professional services revenue. So as I said, the, the core of our, our partners are people who implement various systems we integrate into and the bulk of their revenue is actually generated through professional services revenue. Now, through our certification course, what we've found is we, we can actually, the, the the personnel that is required to actually implement, whether it's Sage or CISPRO or SAP or, or whatever it is, has the same skill set that is needed to actually build out these integrations. So what Flogia aims to do is upskill your, sale, your, your technical team through our certification course, and then you're able, in addition to charging your clients uh, X amount of hours to implement the system, that same person, without incurring additional overhead, can build out the integration component as well, and we've seen clients add on between 20 and 30% additional professional services revenue through this process. Um, what we also find is that 
integration never ends. And what happens is our partners may initially start off, you know, they may be Salesforce implementation partners and they land up building an integration between Salesforce and, and Shopify. But what happens is they very quickly find that their clients are coming back to them, asking them to integrate things and to automate things which actually have got nothing to do with Salesforce. And they, the skill set of the people certified is sufficient to actually continuously build professional services revenue for these clients, which is, which is endless. Um, and then lastly is retention. Integration is probably the best way to firmly entrench yourself into a client. You know, once you've integrated all their systems, it's a marriage, they're there for life. It's, uh, it's very sticky, very difficult to, to move away from. And then lastly, in addition to the annuity income, uh, what Flogia has realized is we brought in our partners, we created this great synergy with executives, but then we found this gap where the executives were like, great, I can give a solution, I can earn annuity income, I'm going to move the needle on prof pro professional services, but uh, leads, there was a disconnect between what the execs want and then the salespeople who are actually at the coal face of uh, the integration speaking to their clients. So one of the things we've created in our recent partner program is Flogia will also incentivize um, your sales teams with 100% of the first month subscription. Um, so if, if, a, if a, someone from your sales team registers a lead with Flogia and the client takes a subscription, um, Flogia will then pay 100% of the first month subscription, which could, which could be just under 10,000, or if it's an enterprise plan, 115,000, we'd pay that over to the partner. But with the understanding that that would be allocated to either to the salesperson or the sales team or the technical team. But it is a way of trying to get your sales teams to understand who Flowgear is, what this partnership is about. And, and really, uh, I think like most salespeople, and I, I come from uh, <laughs> that part of the team, like what's in it for me? So uh, we weren't looking for you to incentivize your team. We wanted to build something into the partner program as well. So I think w before we delve into the partner strategy around customer acquisition, I, I quickly just want to touch on what are some of the core benefits for your clients? Because, you know, this all sounds great, but, you know, really what's, what's in it for your clients? And I also want to touch on um, the benefits of a platform over a hand-coded solution and how this can actually be a game changer. Um, Okay, so, so very quickly, uh, what we find is using a platform is going to give your clients a competitive advantage. It gives them the ability to integrate with customers and suppliers, and that creates automatic operational efficiency. Also, we like to reduce overhead by automating manual processes, improving response time, creating better efficiencies. Um, this gives clients the ability to boost productivity and empowers their teams to focus on higher value tasks. And I think most importantly is the ability to overcome data silos. And what this means is the ability to share data across the entire organization with a single source of truth. In terms of moving from a hand-coded hand -code, hand solution to a, a platform, I, I think modern iPaaS platforms really tend to complete with kind of legacy hand-coded solutions. Now, there are many reasons why enterprise companies are moving away from hand-coded solutions and over to a platform, but I, I want to quickly highlight four key benefits for you. So the first one over here is really the most important requirement of any integration is the ability to constantly maintain those integrations. The integration quick, quickly becomes a critical component of your client's business and they need to be maintained in, maintained in real time. As I said previously, these integrations connect into endpoints, those endpoints update. If the, the workflows aren't maintained, the integration breaks and then you're desperately looking for the software developer who built it to come in and fix this going through thousands of lines of code as opposed to just looking at, at some logs. You also run into the issues of are they available, do they still work for you? Um, the second thing is the speed at which you can integrate and automate. 
as I said previously, Flowgear is a low-code um, platform, and what we found with partners is that you can build out these integrations in about 25% of the time it takes you to hand code, which means you're either making more margin or you are passing on that discount over to your client. Um, thirdly, is you want to future-proof your integrations for your clients. So all your integrations are built and maintained in one platform. So you know, initially you may be only using a handful of uh, connectors, but regardless of where the business grows, there are connectors in Flogia's um, wheelhouse, or you've got access to our generic connectors so that you can build and maintain those um, integrations, one platform, one pane of glass. And then lastly is, um, I think your point where, to, to, to your question previously is why you want to get some of the, um, the team certified, your client's team certified, is because this is no code, non-technical people can actually become part of this process. Um, you know, previously, so it's, you know, integrations would be a software development exercise or black box. But now people can look at it and they can say, okay, well, I understand where the flow of data is going. I understand how the mapping is working. I understand what are the triggers. And they can actually contribute to this process. Um, all right. So the last section, and arguably the most crucial, is exploring um, how we collaborate with partners to identify and acquire new customers. So let's delve into the strategies and synergies. Um, that make our, our, our partnership journey so impactful. We recently, I say recently, this is probably about six, seven months ago, um, we completed a study across 52 of our partners in different industries, geographies, and applications, where we evaluated all partner-related sales, and we managed to identify a trend um, which we'd like to share with you. So what we found, the most effective sales and conversion strategies followed a two-step process. The first is get Flogia involved as early as possible. Most of our partners, for some reason, are a little bit hesitant, reluctant. I'm looking at some partners in the room over here. We may have discussed this over the phone. But g people tend to not want to bring Flogia in until they've close the deal with the clients. Flogia is not a competitor to you. In fact, what our partners who bring us in early find is that they land up selling a solution to their clients. So we're a company that implements uh, Sage Intact. And what you actually show in your clients is, I can implement Sage Intact, but I'm not hiding what are we going to do in terms of integration. We have a very effective solution around integration. So the idea is, um, I'll talk about our account executives in a minute. Introduce your account executive to your client. Let them come in and sell the benefits of what an integration platform can do for you. Let them set up some technical demos. The second thing is where there's a good commercial fit and a technical fit. What Flowgear does very unique to, I think, anybody we know out there is we offer every single client a complementary proof of concept. And what we found is where we deliver a, a POC is we got north of an 85% conversion rate. And I'll, I'll go into the, the, the POCs in more detail shortly. Now, in building partnerships, we've attempted to provide you with all the necessary tools to help position and sell flow gear to your clients, while at the same time trying to limit the additional overhead on your sales team. And the most effective tool in Flowgear's arsenal is what we call our account executives. Each partner is allocated a strategic account executive, and really this AE is an extension of your sales team. They're there, they're a resource for you, introduce, you, you want to register the lead, introduce the, um, the AE to the partner, and it's their job to sell the Flowgear subscription. And um, I'll, I'll, I've got a slide up here now where we'll go into you know, what, it, what's the, what it's involved uh, along that process. So in terms of the complementary proof of concept, um, this has really been a silver bullet for Flowgear. What, what we do is we've got a, a POC division 
Um, it takes us about 10 days to build out these uh, proof of concepts. We don't take them all the way to production. What we do is we, we, we say to our clients, instead of saying we can integrate anything to anything, we say the clients give us a typical integration use case, give us some sample data, access to a sandbox, and our team will go ahead and build out the proof of concept. Uh, as, as I said, it's, it's not production ready, but it's enough for the client to say, wow, I'm dealing with a partner over here, which is not only ticking the box in terms of what I need implemented, but I know they've got the right solution around uh, integration as well. Wh what we've also found is there's a, a number of um, commercial benefits around uh, doing these POCs. One, it just creates confidence. We can tick the boxes that we're dealing with the right company. Two is um, once people understand what Flowgear can do, uh, the number of use cases increases for, uh, for the partners. It was, I needed to do this, but now I need to do you know, X, now I need to do X, Y, and Z. Um, and then lastly, it creates momentum. People see, I know what my problem is. I'm seeing 50% of the solution presented to me, and really what it does is it, it shortens the sales cycle. Um, all right, so flipping over to the, the next section of this presentation and, and the much shorter section um, is I want to talk about what it takes to onboard you as a, a new partner. So I'm going to talk about partner training um, and some of our sales tools, and then lastly, we'll talk about some of the marketing initiatives. Um, okay, so in, in terms of onboarding you as a partner, Flowgear has two actually mandatory courses which we've put together. Our first is our technical certification. So the key thing we're looking for is we want our partners to do the implementation. We often have our partners say to us, well, you know, we're a little nervous. We've just done the certification course. Um, you do the first one and then we'll do the second one. What we want to do is get you certified, get you to do the first implementation. Our team is there to guide you through your first two, three implementations. You earn the professional reven services revenue on the back of this, and we will help you. Um, you know, sometimes our partners like to add on an extra 10 or 15% in terms of the budgeted hours so that they can actually have some capacity to work with Flowgear if they need a little bit more than that. But the idea of our certification course it's an online course it's hosted on udemy it takes uh, you know probably about four days to complete so you're looking at about three and a half hours of on-demand video a lot of time listening to dan um, and thereafter you need to complete a, a number of practical exercises but by the end of that you are of flowgear certified and you now have the tools necessary to to earn that ps revenue the second, which is a very new course we've created, it's a sales enablement training course. Um, very simple course, it's about 45 minutes. And really the course is designed for your, your sales team or, or anybody who's client facing really to be able to pitch Flowgear. So we're not looking for your team to sell Flowgear. That's the AE's job. What we're looking for them to have a high level understanding of who Flowgear is and what we do and why your company has partnered with us. And then what is the process associated with Flowgear's um, sales process? Which, which, which brings me to this slide. I, if I had to kind of summarize this uh, whole sales enablement training and uh, sales partner process down to just a few sentences, is what you need to do is register, if you've got an opportunity, register that lead with Flowgear. The reason why we ask you to register it is uh, it doesn't happen often, but every now and again we've got two partners who are both uh, saying they're working on the same client and each one's trying to claim the, the revenue associated with their client. So we say to partners, register your lead, get it in as fast as possible. Um, the second thing is, is then give us an introduction to their client. Um, give us the intro and our team will take it from there. What your account executive will do is they will set up a, a call with the client. We obviously would love you to be as much a part of this process as you like, but we'll set up a call with the client, we'll explain to them the benefits of Flowgear, the benefits of using the platform and the value proposition that it brings. We will then set up a technical demo so we'll get an understanding of what it is they're looking to integrate and we'll give a demo which is um, you know, on par with their requirements. And then lastly, we'll offer them if necessary a complimentary proof of concept. And then the salesperson will chase that deal all the way to the client taking a Flowgear subscription and, and sealing that deal. 
I think what's very important to, to note over here, because this, this is often lost in translation in terms of our partnerships, is what is the contractual relationship over here? Flowgear is only interested in the subscription. So when you bring a client to Flowgear, they will purchase the subscription from, from Flowgear using our master services agreement. But in terms of the actual implementation, that will be between the partner and the client using the partner's, um, partner's agreements. Um, I just want to make it very clear that this is not a subcontracting exercise. So um, Flowgear yeah. handles the subscription and uh, you guys handle the professional services implementation. All right, so uh, in terms of marketing initiatives, uh, we've got a lot of initiatives at Flowgear. Yeah. Um, I just want to touch on two which have been very successful for our partners and, and, and for Flowgear. Yeah. First of all is each of our partners, um, once you're fully onboarded, gets a complimentary listing on Flowgear's website. And, and really the idea behind this is that our clients can come onto our website and identify implementation partners, either based on domain experience, industry knowledge, or, or maybe even local geography, so they can find a partner um, close to them to work with. Um, our preference is always for our partners to do the professional services implementation. You know, companies often say to me, well, why would Flowgear not want to do the PS and why do you want to pass that revenue over to partners? And uh, the, the answer is very simple, is if clients ask us to build something, we, we build what they ask us to build. If our partners implement it, you understand your client's business from A to Z. So what will end up happening is you will end up building out more integrations which will hopefully then move the partner from a, a base plan eventually all the way up to an enterprise plan. Um, the second thing which we work with our partners on is to get partners to list integration and automation as a service offering on their website, which then, then leads through to, uh, so you can see over here, um, um, and then what that does is it leads through to a page on your website where you talk about integration and automation. We also give you um, some content to add on that page. And what we also say to our partners is um, create uh, the ability for clients to go ahead and watch a demo. And if they go ahead and register to watch that demo, then uh, you know, that lead is automatically associated with you through a tracking mechanism so that if they do become a client, you obviously get the, the benefit from that. And uh, I think that brings me to the end of my presentation. I see I've got 47 seconds left. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm happy to do a little bit of uh, Q&A. Um, uh, yeah, so if there are any questions, I'll be happy to answer those. Yes, at the back. So the, you're talking about the support hours on the pricing. Yeah, so, so what we do is, uh, and I can quickly <laughs> try to go all the way back to that. Um, so what we do is we, we bundle in some complementary support hours. So what we don't want to do is we don't want to sell a subscription to somebody and then the client puts up their hand and asks a question, all of a sudden you say, well, we can't help you. <laughs> you know, you don't have any support. So we bundle in, ten, uh, like, so in our base plan, you get 10 hours a year for support. Um, and uh, they can, clients, if they want to buy additional support, they can actually go and, uh, and buy that support from us. That generally is more applicable where clients are working directly with Flowgear as opposed to working with, with partners. So what they would do is they would actually buy support from you because you are the guys using the, uh, the implementation, doing the implementation for them. So we, we generally find that clients who come through partners never buy support, um, never actually use the support. So they, they're using your support. Any, anything else? All right. Well, guys, thank you very much for your time today. Um, if you've got question, more questions, I will be outside. Otherwise, pop past our stand. There's some, uh, some of our teams over there. And uh, we would love to sign you guys up as partners. Thank you. Thank you.